What's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith. I'm a first year medical student at the Mayo Clinic. And if you've been following me for a while or have seen my last few videos, I just began medical school just a few weeks ago. And so I kind of wanted to get into a series or start a series just going over my updates in medical school. And I thought no better way to do that than to start with an update following my first medical school exam. And so that's what this video is going to be about. I know when I began medical school, one of the biggest things I was interested about was how are the exams, how are they formatted, how do they maybe differ from what I experienced in undergrad, things like that. And so now I actually know. So I wanted to share that with you as well as just an overview of what medical school has been like so far for me. Now, medical school is usually organized in blocks, which are kind of units that we're learning. And so we started off learning histology and biochemistry, and those are the first blocks that we're in. And usually these blocks stretch six weeks. Um, but again, if you saw my last video, you know that they were condensed into four week blocks. And so learning the entire biochemistry and histology curriculum in four weeks, um, is a very accelerated process. Uh, you know, medical school in general is accelerated from undergrad and then accelerating that on top of the acceleration is just, it's a lot. So this meant that we had to be in lecture from about eight to five, Monday through Friday, and then try to find other times during the day and the weekend to study and retain the information that we're learning as well as prepare for next days. So with this, there was a lot of stress circulating among a lot of people in my class. But the good thing is um, we were able to voice this to the administration and there were kind of subtle um, curriculum changes that we were able to take advantage of, including a day off completely to kind of regather. And so I really appreciated how the administration listened to the concerns of the class and really valued the input that we had and valued how we were feeling and things like that. Um, and so ultimately we were supposed to have two, both of the exams, both of our midterms on this past Wednesday. And after the changes, it turned into one exam being completely postponed for a week and the other being opened from Wednesday through Sunday. So you can go in and log on to take this exam anytime between those dates. And so I think that ended up easing a lot of the worries and stress that my class was experiencing. So I actually ended up taking this exam on Friday, Friday morning. I had originally planned on taking it Saturday. So, you know, after the eight hours of class, I can rest and then maybe study Friday evening and then just get up Saturday with no classes to do and just take this exam. But I woke up Friday morning at around 5 a.m. Um, don't read too much into it. I am a morning person, so I wake up really, really early so I don't have to stay up really, really late. Some people are the exact opposite, but I like to work until lecture starts, which is at 8 a.m. And so Friday morning, I woke up and I was just preparing for the lectures to come, reviewing some histology. I felt pretty comfortable with the material, so I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. If I take this exam before lecture starts, the rest of this Friday is gonna be nice and the weekend is gonna be that much nicer as well. So I ended up just saying, let's do it, let's take it. And I took this exam. And so I know a lot of you are now thinking, what's the structure of this exam, all that type of stuff. Um, so it is a multiple choice exam. All medical school exams will be multiple choice. Um, for the most part, usually adhering to the NBME, which is the National Board of Medical Examiners kind of formatting. And those are the board of people who write the tests for the boards and your shelf exams and all that type of stuff. And so a lot of your exams that you experience in medical school are preparing you for your step one, step twos, you know, these licensing, these shelf exams. Um, and so they fo follow the same format. So it was just a 50 question, multiple choice test. It's at about 75 minutes or so, which was longer than I even needed. Um, but I think that I did well. I won't know exactly what I got until early next week when they open up the grades, but I do feel like I passed. And with school being completely pass fail now, the standards for doing well kind of get lowered. Um, you know, that's not to say I don't think I did well, but it feels nice to know that 70 and above is all that I need to pass. Um, and so I had a lot of stress going into this exam because it was my first exam even though the bar was set low with a 70% and most pre-meds are used to scoring higher than that on exams, I just had no idea what to expect with it being my first exam. I was worried that I was not gonna pass and I was gonna have to remediate a class, which just means you have to retake the test and those type of things can show up. Um, you know, when you end up applying to residencies and things like that, you don't wanna have remediations on your transcript and all of these things are running through my head as I'm preparing for my first exam and the stresses of the last week and a half being just completely overloaded with work and all that stuff was going into it. But like they say, hindsight is 2020. Those feelings have I've experienced going into a ton of tests in the past, the MCATs, uh, finals for undergrad classes, midterms in undergrad classes. And on the other end of it, I always realize that I'm okay, that things are good. Down the line, I realize I'm exactly where I wanna be, exactly where I need to be. So the stress that I experience and the worry and anxiety that I experienced during those troubling times, I often look back at it and I say, that is not needed. And so hopefully this time, 
will serve as an example that I'll be able to use in future cases, including this test coming up on Wednesday, to know that after the test, I'm going to be fine. Down the line, I'm gonna be exactly where I need to be, so I don't need to succumb myself with this weight of pressure and anxiety that sometimes I do in preparation for tests. And so this test was again, another sign that hindsight is 2020. I think it went well. Um, I actually enjoyed taking the test. I kind of enjoy the idea of being able to, to show what I know type of thing, which I'm sure a lot of pre-meds do out there. Um, but with that being said, the first two weeks were tough, but they ended in what I think is a successful test. They ended in a lot of learning, not only from a, from a material standpoint, but a lot of learning about myself and I'm just so excited to keep it going and to see what these next two weeks, the final two weeks of our first blocks hold. And don't worry because you know I will be keeping you guys in the loop and keeping you updated every step of the way. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. That always helps, always greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, tap that bell, new videos every week and you're not gonna wanna miss a step in this journey. But until the next one, keep evolving and I'll see you guys soon. Was I this wrinkly the whole time? Oh man, we gonna hear about this in the comments.